Welcome back to my bathroom disaster. Today it's time to do some serious plumbing. Let's start over here at the other end of the house. We're going to redo all the plumbing and it would be nice to have a decent place to go and uh, this kitchen sink is a disaster. Let's say we take this garbage disposal out of the way and I'm going to cut out the entire bottom here. Replace it when we're done. Maybe some cement board. And a large portion of the back too. Look at that. All swollen up. <laughs> well, that's a quick way. Got your dishwasher drain there. I'll leave that on for now so it doesn't dribble all over me the whole time. Alright, I know it's really difficult to put these clamps on, but, but no, no, it is not difficult to put. Yeah, you know, if you're gonna do this, at least make it look like you know what you're doing. Use a clamp! The supply lines loose here, here, and here. Should be able to reuse from there, at least for now. Of course, if we cared about the plumbing below, you'd use a wrench on here too. But that's all being cut off. Geez, now I'm going to have to find another one of these professional connections. Yeah, just tearing some more stuff apart while my oscillating tool was cooling. Alright, back to it. <laughs> Pay attention to your kitchen sink area. Good God. Well, there's a way you use the composite shims. Those are still good. Sweet. That whole back's gonna come out of there neatly without a saw. I'm gonna go ahead and get the drawer slides out of the way. Just starting over. Why does plumbing always turn into this? This isn't what I wanted to do. That'll have to dry out for a while. But the good news is, we can use that vent. Yeah, the most important thing about being a professional builder, you gotta be good with a broom. Not like these kids today. So there's one clear place to bring the pipes to. We'll run the water lines first and we can bring them up. The old hole's right there. And we'll rebuild this thing later after it dries for a good long while. And uh, I'm going to bring the drain up through the floor this time too. So as not to put it in the outside wall. And jeopardize the drain and minimize the insulation. We'll tie back into this vent here. We'll just come up and turn into the wall at that point. To out here, we're going to leave this group in place because these valves work and they're doing their job. And if there's any further trouble, we'll know where the problem is and we'll redo this part. But it's here, we have limited time, so we will disconnect here and unscrew these 
and tie back in with our new stuff. So we'll get all this stuff out of the way and come out of the crawl space more neatly. Got these O-ring type connectors here on these valves. So you just set your crescent wrench to press against this plastic collar. And it pops right off. And up here. Save this stuff for another purpose. Since we're redoing all the plumbing, we'll run three quarter to this water heater. Get rid of these couplers. out of the way. It's always a little more than you thought, eh? Well, I've got to get up early tomorrow, so I think we'll call it here. Maybe tomorrow we can actually do those water lines. Now we've got a place to go. Thanks for watching.